Today is Epiphany, the traditional January 6th date, recognized as the celebration of Jesus being born in the flesh and the vision, the vision given to the Magi or the wise men recorded in Matthew's gospel. The traveling of the, the ones who saw the star to the place where Jesus was born. And we've romanticized it. And of course we have a lot, it makes for great children's ministry illustrations, but it's a wonderful and beautiful image of God being born among us and those who would travel to encounter the risen Christ. The word epiphany is typically associated with, in modern language, having an idea, an awakening. But in the original root language of the Koine Greek, the language of the New Testament, it really is about an appearance. And however you get to the appearance of God, you have to experience it for yourself for it to be real in terms of change in your life. So whether you think of it as an, as an idea or the revelation of God, I would encourage you to think of what things have you learned in your life that you teach to others so that it might be real in their lives. I want to give you an example. Now, I, I had talked about this so much, uh, a ketogenic diet, because I lost about 45 pounds doing that. And here, here's something that was given to me as the best pork rinds, because on a ketogenic diet, you have to eat a lot of, of fat. These are pork rinds. These are expensive. This particular brand is expensive, but I haven't found one that tastes this good. And this is the barbecue flavor one, no sugar. A ketogenic diet has no sugar, higher fat, low carbohydrate diet. And the person who actually showed me that brand of pork rinds is Richard, somebody I currently work with. And this is a picture of him. He recently started eating more this way and lost a lot of weight. It works. And so as a joke, because I talked about it so much, somebody once said, I think it was my wife, you know, if you start a church, you ought to call it Keto Church. I made a website called Keto Church, and you can visit it. And my plan is to just post information there so I don't talk about it so much. That's free for people to go and just learn more about it and what resources are out there for you. I lost uh, a lot of points off my cholesterol, a lot of weight. I feel a lot better. And I've kind of come off it a little bit and now getting back into it. And I can tell the difference. It works. It works. And it's not just the idea that worked. It's the actual manifestation of the idea that became real to me because it led to life change. When we talk about epiphanies of God, they're not just ideas that God intends to share with us, but God's own presence with us. And the way you experience God is key to how you live the rest of your life. And so we all have a notion of God or what God might be like, but when you experience the presence of God yourself, your story changes. I made a new website around something that I think works. We are called to not just live different lives, but to share the story of our changed lives with the world. So as you think on this Epiphany Day, how God has manifested in your life, how have the ideas of God become part of your life that changed it, and how are you called to share those ideas? Happy Epiphany, and God bless. Thank you.